Hello and welcome to another James Prop Maker video. So today we are going to be casting Duck's beak, or lower beak. Um, it's all ready to be casted. So I'm going to use plaster of Paris to cast his beak. And this is they use this in pottery and also find small details of casting stuff. So this is perfect for what I need. And this is also the tub, well the mould that the duck, the duck, the beak is going to be sitting in. So I'm going to show you how we can cast a mould out of plaster. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put some plaster in the tub of what you're going to mould. This will give you a rough guide of how much you need. Now I need some depth there because I, I want to set the beak inside it. Now this is my method, you don't have to copy it, there's other methods out there on the internet. I think that would do. Now every 100 grams of this you add 70 ml of water. So let's have a look. Can that be enough to... Yeah that should be deep enough so I can at least put the mould halfway which will give me the half of the mould then um, once that's set I can put the other half on. So, we're going to weigh this now to see how much it weighs. Let me know how much water we've got to add. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. So, the scales are on naught. Let's see how much it weighs. Hmm. I'm going to call it 400. So if we remember 400 for next time, we will then copy that. So now with every 100, we need to add 70 mils of water. Now I need to do some maths because I'm not very good at maths. Okay, so we needed around about 290 mils of water. So now I've got my um, Place of Paris. I now need to tip that back in a container. You don't want to dump it all in once because you get clumps and obviously that make a mess. Okay. And now I'm stuck. Where am I stuck? This curtain isn't really big enough. Nah, let's give it a go. Actually, no, I'll pour it in here. Should I pour it in there? Yeah, no. Commit, commit, commit. Trouble is, I got really. I wanted to pull that into there and stare, but yeah, I don't think I've got enough room for it. <clears throat> yeah, let's give it a go. So you just add it gradually.
Oh, that's working out alright actually. Good. Now you can always add more. That ain't too bad. Okay, let's start stirring. Now, because this is quite thin at the minute, I'm going to need to leave it a couple of minutes so it can start thicken up. Almost like a paste. Well, not quite like a paste. Because, um, doing it a different technique so I want it quite thick so I can put this in the put it in the mold and then I can slowly press the beak down so this might take a while obviously the more plaster you have the harder the mold would be I think I might even add some more to be honest Yep, I think I will add some more. So this is where I'm like, not going by the book really. Play it by eye really. Now this is tepid water. You don't want hot water. You don't want hot water it messes with the chemical reaction well it's not really a chemical this is natural oh that does feel better now it feels a lot better so we're going to keep on mixing and I shall be back with you once we are ready to pour in the mould so it's starting to thicken now what I'm going to do is just going to put a light finger touch over it and put it on the mould. Just give it, pick up some of the um, surface. It's still not thick enough how I want it yet, so we need to give it more time still. Now, this is how I do it. I don't exactly recommend, well, you can do it how you like to do it. This is just how I do it. So I think I've got everywhere where I need for now. I like that. Just leave that there for a bit. Oh, this is getting better. Still not how I like it, because it's still a bit too thin. Because when I place the beak in, it's going to go bloop, and I don't want that. But it's getting there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is pour a little bit in at the minute.
Okay, now. Nah. Hmm. See, if I was to put that beak in now, he would boop, sink in. We don't want that. We want him to go at least halfway. So I need this time just to thicken up a bit more. It's getting there. As you can see, it's making it indents. Oh yeah, he's getting there. I still think it's just too thin for me to put that beacon. So this is where you don't want to go off and get, make a cup of tea or anything because by the time you come back it's, it's fired like it is now. So it's getting there. Uh, hmm. It's not too bad I think. Shall I give it a go? Let's give it a go. Let's try it. That's not too bad. Okay, we'll let that set. So, I've just cleaned them up inside a little bit. I've got my edges back. All around the outside, so I slowly scraped carefully all around here. Just to get them back. It's so now because it's a two part mould, we need to add some keys. My keys are the opposite, so there's a positive and a negative to the mould. So in this case, we're just going to, you can make any sort of pattern that you want. So when you go to cast the other side, it will form inside it. And they were locked together so that it can't it can't move. It's not really necessary for me because this time I'm gonna be um using the two separate molds differently. I'm gonna be um laying fiberglass either side of it and just let it set as it is 
instead of casting all in one. So I'm going to make some keyways. You can make anything you want. You can make circles. Don't have to be perfect. I think that would be enough. So the next step is to use Vaseline. Now I need to use Vaseline and rub it all over the mould because if you don't do that it will not come apart and you end up crying like I nearly did. So we're going to use Vaseline or Protonium Protonium I can't say it, something jelly. So we're going to be just putting all over the mould. The size doesn't really matter on this ice cream tub because it's smooth anyway. So I should be back with you. Okay, so I've put all Vaseline all inside the mould. You won't be able to see it that very well. But it's not exactly the same technique as before. We've got exactly the same plaster as last time and exactly the same water as before. So you don't need to see that. What the stage I'm going to be showing you is how to release it from the tub. Now I've cheated a little bit. I've added a couple of slots in here that I've cut so I can rip it apart once I've done it. So I will get back to you when we are ready. Okay so now it's set it's time to try and take it out the mould. Just like that. And as you see we can we have two halves. So now we've got to try and split it somehow.
Gotcha. So there we have it. That is Duck's lower beak. Now this should easily come out. Voila! And that is how you do a two part mould out of Plaster Paris. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this content, please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.